best Lebanese food. Really that good? Hello, beautiful people. This is Mark. We're heading to Beirut, Lebanon for a 24 hours ultimate street food tour. There is so much amazing food to talk about, to eat, and of course, to explore. After all, Lebanese food, it is one of the best cuisine around the world. Is it true? Watch the vlog till the end and let me know what you think by leaving me a comment on YouTube. Mark, Kifak, Kif Sahtak, Sana Zamem, Mashifnik, Ani Hone, Esmiraji Kibbi, Jiddi Susi, Ibn Khali, Ibn Khali Ahwe, Kamen, Bissusi Kamen, Nushtalani, Sali Tariban Hone, Kamsene, Nil Khamsa Sabin, Sali Nahon, Kin Abal Bil Aswa Tijari, Kamen, Kamsasha Sene, Mabdan Ul Akta Menek, Adi Bayan Omrna, Rifki, Badanusa Lal Ekir, Badan Mitmanahna, Sala. Thank you. I'm sitting with a very good and old friend of mine, Tanus. Hello. <laughs> Tanus, we met honestly almost 15, 20 years ago oh. when he used to have a Mexican restaurant. And Tanus used to come every day and we really built a relationship. And then we met again in Dubai. Oh, it's really incredible how time flies, huh? Huh, Tanus? Yeah, it was so fast. We are having a Lebanese traditional breakfast. And of course, we are going to talk about all the dishes that we're going to have today. And of course, we are going to share our experience with you. Almost with awarma, right? Yeah. Anyways, the awarma, first of all, it is a confit sort of lamb meat. And it's very typical and known in uh, Lebanon. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make the recipe, I am going to add the link. On the top or over there? Mmm. It's really good, beautiful people. Yeah, and so it's delicious. beautifully done. We love always <laughs> eating. Radish pickles with our Lebanese nice. breakfast. Now we are gonna have asbe with dips of the main. Tanus, tell me more about the asbe, by the way. We made onions. Onions. And it looks so delicious. We say a little bit of paprika on the top. It is as well very famous in Lebanon, and you can always have it at breakfast and at lunch as well, right? Yeah. Let's dig in. Oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> it's really good. Amazing. Of course, everyone loves to eat it with bread. bread, but I'm trying to be sexy, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I'm already sexy, so I'm already sexy. All right, let's try the bed, be our mouth, which means eggs, eggs with the confit, lamb, lamb confit, yeah. right? I like it. The eggs are beautifully done. With the awarma, it's slightly salty. Everything really goes very well. You know, at the end of the day, when you make any dish, it's not about the recipe or how you make it. It's all about the passion that you do and then you place in those dishes. Like right? my knows? passion to pick up. <laughs> the, the queen, queen of, of Lebanese, Lebanese breakfast, breakfast fete. fete! It is one of everyone's favorite. And of course, I love fete. Tanus, you like fete? Yeah, I will dig before you even. Mm. Oh God. No. Look, when it comes to fete, a certain way, I am going to say it is um, the Lebanese ramen. I don't know how to describe it honestly, but it's really such a special dish that is really, really good. And you have it's, a lot of flavor. It's consistent. It has yogurt inside, garlic. It has the crunchiness of the bread fried, which I love. The beautifully, very, very, very soft chickpeas and of course the cumin and a bit of chili on the top <laughs> so there's something very special about the feta dish that they do where i saw it in the kitchen they add a sort of uh, orange it's a bit bitter and have a very unique flavor with their feta everywhere basically they always use lemon most of the time with the feta do you know that yeah. this dish is definitely a must try if you pass by to lebanon yeah so mark when it comes to lebanese food they are very generous and they have a lot of vegetables in the on, on the, the table. table. The first thing always is the veggies. It's true. All vegetables. Like it's you true. have sometimes a big plate mix of all the garden things. It's true. It's true. And I forget to say that uh, you have as well a lot of beautiful Lebanese uh, dishes that are vegetarian, right? And this routine comes from like the history of Lebanon, like because everyone has before a garden next to his home. So whatever he has, he will bring it to the table. Beautiful people, I just want to bring something to your attention. There's, um, usually in Lebanon, pine seeds are very uh, famous. Everyone basically yeah. likes pines with the breakfast. They usually come on the top of the fete 
on the top of the eggs basically everywhere. But because of the financial crisis and everything that is happening, in Lebanon pine seeds became very, very expensive. They are considered like the white gold. Exactly. So now they're using instead almond on the top yeah. of every dish, right? Let's, Let's go, go ahead, ahead with, with our, our next adventure. adventure. Hi Mark, how are you? They do be, you have one of the best cocktails in town, is it true? That's right, that's right. We have best cocktails, um, Arabian ice cream, uh, Lebanese desserts, all of that. You're open since 19 something? 36. Oh my it's goodness. crazy, yeah, but it's true. Oh my goodness, beautiful people. There is a dessert, if you want, a fruit cocktail, which I truly miss in Lebanon. And it looks very Sexy, lots of fruit inside. Special word Lebanese thing, it's Arishi called. It's, called, arishi. it's Ashto or it's Arishi by the way? I think Arishi. Alright, alright, it's one of both two. Actually, it is a sort of clotted cream. Yeah. It's very similar as well to the Mexican nata. It is made from milk. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> boom, 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 shaka laka. Man, it's so delicious, like, I cannot explains the, the flavors. Look, beautiful people, um, the fruit cocktail that they do here at Antebli is extremely rich. Lots of flavors going on, crunchiness, freshness, really lots, lots of things. This is something that you should definitely try if you pass by to Lebanon. And by the way, with all my travels everywhere, I travel to Thailand, Japan, Mexico, Paris, England, really lots, lots of country. The only country, in my opinion, that do have the best cocktail in the entire world is that one. All right, one more thing before we finish from Entable. We are gonna try as well a very popular ice cream, which you can't find anywhere else in the world other than Lebanon. It is a sort of clotted cream, and basically it's very known and popular in Lebanon. It always comes with the sweets. So they made out of it an ice cream. <laughs> I'll go like that, okay? <laughs> Beautiful people, it's really, really good. YouTubers, this is the best ice cream ever. <laughs> it really is. First of all, I'm really enjoying the vibe. The atmosphere is beautiful. A lot of people expect everyone wants to eat shawarma. It's not easy really to shoot everything that is happening. Anyways, uh, apparently they do have one of the best shawarma in town. And I bought you here because we are gonna try one type of shawarma that basically everyone knows. And one type, it is not really known around the world. So we're gonna start with the sejo shawarma. It is an Armenian speciality. It is a meat which has a lot of spices and dried. First of all, you have the Lebanese pita bread. It has pickles, it has a bit of tomato inside, and mayonnaise. And it is beautifully thinly sliced. This sandwich looks good, it's very appetizing, it's very hot. So let's go ahead and try it. This sandwich, Sergio Shawarma, is truly exceptional. I don't know what to tell you, beautiful people. All right, this is the second shawarma sandwich that we're gonna try. It is the beef shawarma. Everyone as well knows the beef shawarma. Bubu just had one. Bubu, how was it? I tried it. It's so juicy. It's really good. Anyways, once you grab the sandwich, um, it's very warm and you can feel the tenderness of the beef. It's incredible. I don't know how we really explain it. So it is basically the pita bread, the tomatoes, the pickles, the parsley, the tarator sauce on the top, and of course, the meat, which is beautifully done, juicy. You can really smell the freshness while they make it. Let's go! Oh, the meat is very crumbly, very soft, the tarator flavor, tangy, crunchiness because of the pickles, the freshness of the tomato. Whew, it is truly outstanding. One major tip is that you have to eat shawarma when it's freshly done. It is so true, it is very similar when you have a taco. They make it and you have it in the same time, right, Bubu? Yeah. Bubu, if I want to rate the sandwiches, which one comes first in your opinion? The first one? Yeah. As I love beef shawarma. Yeah, Bubu. That, no, no, you're right. You're 100% right. First, it is the beef. The second? I say sujuk. 
Bobo, the Sejo is truly delicious and exceptional. And it's not something that you can try everywhere, honestly. It comes, of course, in second and third. It comes the chicken shawarma. Anyways, beautiful people, let's see what's next. the owner of Ishkhanian Bakery. We are since uh, 1946. We have two branches and uh, we have a very small menu. We have the Armenian Lahrubajin, the Debisrmel Lahrubajin and the vegetarian, the vegan one. And we have the Armenian dumplings, which is called Manti. And we have the Burek cheese, which is Suburek. Mark, you're going to love it. When it comes to Lahrubajin, it is something, what can I tell you? You can have it for breakfast, you can have it for lunch. Everyone adore something called uh, Lahme Bajin, right babe? Today we are at Ishkanyon and as you can see, everything looks fresh. Inside the kitchen, everyone is doing the Lahme Bajin. Every day making a Lahme Bajin, every single day. Through time, I am sure they are experts. The dough is very thin, the meat have a beautiful color, it's fresh, it smells very good. The oven is on a high temperature. I don't know what to tell you all. So anyways, I am going to try at first the Armenian lahme bajin. So it is beef with a bit of fat and vegetables inside. Let's go ahead. <laughs> it's slightly tangy. You have more freshness in it in a certain way because of the vegetables. There is lots of flavor going on with it. Look, beautiful people. There is a lot of shops that does lahme bajin in this country, but Ishkanyon really mastered his craft. I can't get enough of those lahme bajin. And now we're gonna taste something completely different. It's a lahme bajin, but vegetarian. Actually, I am gonna call it futra bajin, which is mushrooms with dough. <laughs> I never tried that before. Look, it have all the spices of the lemon bajin and the mushrooms are really good. They have a lot of flavors, a lot of vegetables inside, freshness, the dough beautifully done as usual. Yes, beautiful people, it is worth it. There is a drink that you should have when you have a lemon bajin. It is a yogurt with salt. Very refreshing, very refreshing with the lemon bajin, beautiful people. You like it, babe? Yeah, I love it. I think the two combinations, lamb bajin and the yogurt, are truly perfection. Hi Mark, we are here at Falafel Zainoun, we have a lot of food. We have a lot of food for 92 and we have a lot of food for us. We have a lot of food for us, we have a lot of food for us, we have a lot of food for us, and we have a family business. Thank you. Welcome. When was the last time you had a beautiful falafel like that one? Long time ago, two years ago. Finally, we are going to have our first falafel in Lebanon. You know, even my grandmother who visited from Russia, she fell in love with falafel. Yeah, it's like everyone loves falafel, right? I really felt like having a falafel today. And by the way, I was asking my mom, where can we eat the falafel? So my mom told me there's this place called Zainoun and it's not far from our house and apparently they have one of the best falafel in town. So at first falafel is very popular in all this region. There's many ways actually of making it or you can make it with chickpeas or you can make it with fava beans. They basically mix it with some vegetables and of course they add a bit of bicarbonate with it to make it more crispy and it is fried. Today I am going to teach you how to eat the falafel in two different ways. First way you can eat it as a sandwich. A small tip always order to have one sheet of bread, not two, because otherwise it's gonna be too much, right, babe? It's gonna be heavy and too. Yes, and of course, you are gonna be able to enjoy much more the falafel with its condiments. Second, my favorite is sitting on the table and having the falafel. First of all, the falafel is always served with some chili, olives, mint, tarator, the tomato, radish, and as well pickles. So you have everything on the table, and of course, you have the bread on the side. The let me is always made like a very small taquito. So you have the bread, then you can choose whatever you want, and a bit of tarator, of course, one of my favorite sauces in Lebanon, on the top. It looks very good. And of course, honestly, me, I always love chili with my falafel. Baby, you like chili? Who doesn't like chili? 
<laughs> it is, go ahead and try this. Falafel with the chili. Oh my god, the slit me of falafel is definitely a must try. It's gorgeous. The falafel are extremely crispy, crunchy, pillowy, soft, flavorful. Who doesn't like fried food at the end, right, babe? <laughs> it is truly gorgeous. Do you know that falafel is very popular among the vegetarians and vegans these days? Yes, of course. All the vegans and vegetarians can have this falafel as well, right? Yes. yes. And beautiful people as well. If you want to learn how to make a falafel, I am going to add the recipe in the top. Over there. <laughs> Bah écoute, pour moi la cuisine libanaise, euh, elle est hyper variée, ce qui est plutôt cool parce qu'il y en a pour euh, tous les goûts. Moi en tant que libanaise de la diaspora, je trouve que c'est dommage qu'on connaisse vraiment que les médés. Parce que ce qui est vraiment bon, c'est les plats de la maison, genre euh, basel laurez, euh, les arjej, enfin voilà des vrais plats euh, qu'on fait à la maison, hyper conviviaux quoi. Euh, moi je suis d'accord, j'aime beaucoup ces plats-là, si Yadi notamment, même si elle aime pas le poisson, moi j'adore ça. Et, euh, et ce que j'aime beaucoup aussi, c'est la manière de cuire la viande au Liban. Donc après les, après les mezzés, ils mettent le barbecue, les machéwes, ils ont une viande tendre, notamment la viande d'agneau, on voit ça quoi Liban je pense. My name is George, you are in the Maeda journey, it's a family business. We are operating from 1983. We have the best barbecue in town, and we are really specialized in chicken rolls, chicken sandwiches with garlic and pickles. Enjoy it. Before we start, uh, I don't know, there's lots of people in front of us, and we're a bit shy to talk on the camera, right, Bubu? Bye. <laughs> we're sitting at home, and Aziza was telling me, I'm hungry. She want to she wanna try something new. So I was like, where are we gonna go? We have a burger, we have what? Then I was, Bubu, there's a place, and I used to go there at least 10 to 15 years ago. So we said, let's go ahead and see what's gonna happen, and it was open. In Arabic, it is called Sandwich Jish Al Faham. Did you get a Bubu? Yeah, Sandwich Jish. <laughs> you cannot have a chicken sandwich once you come to Lebanon, because look, when you go to Mexico, it's all about the taco. Here as well in Lebanon, we have a lot of sandwiches. I'm not gonna say similar to taco, it's a bit different. It is something that is so exquisite in my opinion. It is simple, but delicious. We are at the famous Maida barbecue restaurant. It is made from Lebanese bread, slow cooked barbecued chicken. Of course, it has olive oil, lemon juice, garlic. You can close the bread on the barbecue for a few minutes until it have a golden brown color. Then they can spread garlic paste and of course a bit of pickle. Before we go ahead, let me try the sandwich and see how good it is. The sandwich is so good. It's still the same, it's incredible. What I really like about the sandwich, first of all, the bread is very crispy, the pickles crunchy, and of course, the garlic paste. Oh my God, everything is about the garlic paste. It's not too strong, it's mild, but it is something. Everything goes really well together. Beautiful people, in my opinion, yes, you should definitely come and try this wonderful sandwich. So beautiful people, we were at my grandmother's house and I truly miss it, honestly. And then we decided to go to an area called uh, Rumiye. It is a 45 minutes drive from Beirut and we wanted to have a very a traditional Lebanese lunch. Anyways, we didn't choose something fancy. Uh, we were driving and then we said, let's try this restaurant. Today, we're alone. It's empty, there's no one. It's me, Aziza, and you, <laughs> of course. Lebanon is very known for its beautiful nature. The mountains are in front of you. You can see everything. It's gorgeous. There is something that I really enjoy when I come to Lebanon is the smell of the soil. And you know me, I'm a chef. The smell of the soil, of the nature, the pine trees is something for me. It gives me really a lot of memories. Um, anyways, me and Aziza were playing around, enjoying everything because honestly, being in nature is truly something, right Bubu? Yeah. Hi Mark, today I'm going to eat the Lebanese بياخذ العقل تبولي حمص بطاطا حره نخاعات راتب جبني شويه نيعه كيفك صحتين والف صحه يا رب So as you can see we have a lot of dishes in front of us 
and we're going to talk about a few typical Lebanese dishes and as well we're going to show you a few important tips how the locals eat here. So we are going to start first of all with the kibbe, lots of kibbe, naye, which is a raw meat similar to tartare if you want in a certain way. Let's go ahead first with the kafta. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it gives me honesty, lust of memories. Kafta is basically raw meat, which is mixed with parsley, onions, salt, and Lebanese spices. So, the table is always eaten with garlic paste. Everyone knows garlic paste, right? I'm not gonna talk about it much, but let's go ahead. Babe. It is beautifully done, it's very soft, it's truly really something. Now we're gonna talk about the most popular, kibbeneye, the basic, the classic. So of course you have the raw meat, you have the cracked wheat inside, some onions, and of course salt and some Lebanese spices as well. The way the locals eat it, the pita bread, you add the kibbe, a bit of fresh onions, mints, and of course a drizzle of olive oil. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, I really like raw meat in general a lot. And what is very important when making a kebe, it has to be fresh. And of course, when you add all the ingredients with it, it has to be properly balanced. Okay. It is called kebe or falie, which is the regular classic kebe, and it is mixed with something called dips al har, which is chili paste. Uh, as well, you basically eat it um, with onion, with olive oil, with mint, the way you like it. It's mild chili, not too strong, but there's something about this kibbe. It's freshly done. It is served, of course, chilled, but it is really, really good, lovely people. Well, for me, I prefer the classical Lebanese food, which is tabbouleh, is my thing. The way you eat it, you grab the Roman lettuce, you add the tabbouleh on the top, and crunch, crunch. I love cheese rolls. Small tip if you want it to be more healthier, you ask for it to be baked instead of fried. We're gonna try something. This is not for everyone, it's very unique. So I'm not sure if you have tried it before, but it is the brain of the sheep. You always top it with a bit of olive oil and fresh garlic. And of course, the pita bread is always essential with it. I'm not sure how to describe it for you. The brain is extremely soft. With the olive oil and garlic, bit of salt. It's not bad actually. Boo boo, what does batata hara mean? Means potato with chili. Not bad. Now Mark is gonna try the tongue of the ship. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's wrong with you? Boo boo, look, uh, those dishes are. You can ask every Lebanese and everyone basically love them. So, um, again. Olive oil, a bit of garlic, lots of chili. Very straightforward as a dish, very classical. I'm not going to talk much. Please explain the texture of the tongue, it's really interesting to know. It's nice. It's really nice, but it's not chicken, it's not beef, it's not duck, it's not fish, it's not crocodile, it's... Uh, the meat is actually very, very tender. You don't have this strong beefy taste. It is blanched, very soft, but it's really good. I am truly enjoying it. Do you want to learn how to make many various types of kibbe? Yep, I have a lot of really exquisite recipes. You can find them in the top over there. Uh, so again, the food was very traditional, very good. Lots of flavors, lots of variety. And of course, not to forget, Lebanese food have a lot of vegetarian dishes, by the way. Did you know that there are two types of Lebanese meze in Lebanon? One is the fish meze and the other one is the meat. Usually you can find fish in the, next to the sea and the meat is in the mountains. <laughs> Mark, uh, my name
name is Zahir Halab. So I'm a fifth generation uh, grandson. We've been uh, working here since 1881. We grew and now we have our castle and we're, we're offering uh, all the sweets that you see behind me. We're passionate about our sweets. Uh, something uh, my grandfather told, me, uh, told us before, uh, uh, do it uh, in an excellent way or just close. We are in Tripoli! <laughs> Beautiful people. It took us an hour drive from Junyi. And when you ask any Lebanese in general, they tell you, oh my God, it is too far. <laughs> but honestly, we just came back from Mexico. And Mexico, if you want to go to any city, by the way, it takes you at least two to three hours drive. For example, we went to Chichen Itza, from Playa del Carmen to Chichen Itza. It was a three hour drive only to go there. Anyways, driving here by the Mediterranean coast was honestly beautiful. Lebanon have a beautiful sea, the beautiful mountains, and of course, the weather is very refreshing. Hello, Mark. Keep the new. اليوم رح ناكل حلاوة الجبن يلي بتجي من التفي، رح ناكل مفروكة الفستق يلي بتجي مع جلد الفستق والقشطة، ورح ناكل الكنافة يلي بجبنة. Everybody knows knafe! It's a famous Lebanese dessert. Uh, it's made from semolina, cheese, uh, some pistachio on the top, and the drizzle of sugar syrup. Lebanese likes to eat this dessert in the morning and somewhere uh, And sometimes as well after a long night. It has a lot of calories, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it is truly delicious. Ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> you know, it makes me remember about my cravings during the pregnancy, remember? <laughs> he, used to drive me, he used to drive me at night. There is something that is really exceptional about the knefe. It's fresh, it's warm, it's soft, the cheese is melting. The knefe is truly made to perfection. All Lebanese knows it. But look, I'm gonna tell you something. First of all, it is a sort of a uh, pat of pistachio and it is filled with ashta, which is a clotted cream. Anyways, enough talking. My mom would die for it because she loves pistachio. Oh my god. Look, if you're a fan of pistachio, you can't miss that dessert. There are various ways of making halito shubin and everything really depends on the cheese. When you come to Tripoli, they basically make it with a yellow cheese called Jibne Shahali. And when you go to Juni, they basically make it with another type of cheese, which is Arkawi cheese and Majdouli cheese. So this is basically the difference. But in my opinion, Halab have one of the best Halal Jibne in the world. You can always have it filled with Ashta as rolls, or you can always have it like, I don't know, stretched in a certain way. I always prefer it that way. Anyways, let's go ahead. I'm not sure how to describe it. The flavor is truly exceptional, different, refreshing, sweet, not too sweet at the same time. Once you can have a first bite, then you want again and again and again, and you can't stop. Welcome to Tripoli. In this little Arab Trabalsi, we have a here. After every the top of the top. Thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful, Beautiful people. people, we hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Lebanon is truly a wonderful country to visit. At the end, Lebanese food is one of the best cuisine around the world. We'll see you very soon with another vlog, another recipe. Everything really depends. All right, we'll see you in Lebanon.